Hi there, welcome to this quick look at Storefront Pro. Storefront Pro is a plugin uh, that enables you to further customize the WooTheme Storefront theme. We love uh, WooTheme Storefront theme. It's a beautifully uh, coded theme. It's rock solid and it's the official uh, WooCommerce theme. So we're huge fans of it and Storefront Pro gives you a whole ton of customization options on top of Storefront. Here's a quick site that I put together using Storefront Pro. There's no coding involved. It's all done through the WordPress customizer. So uh, let me just show you how some of this works. So I'm just logging in and I'm just gonna show you how I built some of the elements of this site and that'll give you the idea of some of the power behind Storefront Pro, hopefully. So I'm gonna start at the top and you'll see we've got these sections down here. I'm just gonna go through a few of these today. We'll start with header and navigation. And in header elements, this is where you do things like upload your own um, your logo, that'd be your logo, so that's appearing there. Uh, we've also added this ability to add contact information along the top here. So I've added a phone number and an email address. You see those appearing there. But you can also add uh, your social network. Now I've just put placeholders in here, but you would put your Facebook page URL and that would just automatically appear. You see these little icons which will link your readers off to your social networks. Um, and you can also choose the background color of your header. So literally you come in here and if you want the whatever color you want, you want you just pop it in there so you'll see you get a real-time preview as you, you change these so it's incredibly intuitive to use hopefully just go back to that one uh, the other thing you can do in primary navigation is you can actually style the, the top of this here so if I just uh, you'll see, we've got different settings we've got default align right centered and inline logo there's the default one uh, align right will align your menu as you'll see along here to the right looks great and we've got centered and centered inline logo so we'll go back to centered you can choose there we go so it's centered now you can choose all the fonts sorry you can choose the fonts within your menu uh, so we've got all google fonts plus all the standard fonts that you might want so you can just pop them in there you can choose the text change the text size just with these little sliders you see as i slide it up and down how the text size will change of my menu there i've gone very large so i'll just reset that uh, you can change other things like whether it's uppercase. You can change all the text colors, the link colors, and the drop-down colors, which I'll come to. And you can also do things like remove the search from the nav. So loads of controls on that. I'm just going to show you a few more things on the navigation. This is your secondary navigation. That's along the top here. So you can have a secondary nav with many items up here. I've just put the contact information and social icons, but this is where you change your background color. And again, it's just a question of you know going in here and choosing the colors you want and again you get a full-time preview so you can exactly you can see exactly what you're doing as you go along you can also change the text color and the drop down colors because you can have drop down menus up here if you're using menus in there okay a few other things to show you uh, in content here let me show you this if I go to this so you've got full control over your fonts within your site so here we are and again we've got typography and you can change the body font which is this here Choose whatever fonts you want. I've just chosen Lasso. And you can change the text size of your body font and you can change your header size here. So let's just make this extreme so you can see how that works. You'll see that will get much, much bigger. Let's just reset that for now. Uh, and you can change other things like your heading colors, text colors, and link colors within your site as well. So very, very um, simple to use. Um, right, we're gonna move on to the footer next. So you can customize this area down here. So we've got a section here called footer. And again, you've got loads of controls. You can choose the number of uh, columns you have. Uh, one of the things we built in is this ability to change this text down here, which normally says powered by WooTheme Storefront. And you can put your own custom text in here. You just put your text in and it appears automatically. And again, you can style that color. You can also put HTML in here. So if you wanted to have links off to your privacy pages, your privacy policy and your terms and conditions pages, you just put them in here as links, as HTML. And obviously you can change the background color here of the footer region and the other thing you can do is style your widgets so at the moment i've got two widgets in here two text widgets but you can change the text size you'll see this is the header how it will re revert to smaller so you've got full controls over all that and the text size within here and all the font the font sizes as well so full control over your footers uh, a few other things to show you one of the key bits of any um shop is the ability to tailor your shop so we've built a whole load of functionality into so you can do that very easily so you'll see on the left here in the customizer i've got woocommerce and we've got shop product details and checkout this is your main shop page so we've allowed you to tailor that now i've already i've already customized this page to hide certain things so i've set it to be full width i've set how many columns i want within my um 
within my shop as well. So that's a two column or you could go up to four columns if you wanted to. There we go. Uh, I said eight products per page. You'll see we've got infinite scroll working as well because I've just ticked infinite scroll down here. So as you scroll down, the pay, the um, the products automatically load, but you can also turn stuff on and off here. So by default, you'll have all these turned on. I'm just turning them back on so you can see this is this is the way we, um, Storefront looks out of the box, really. Uh, but a lot of people want to hide and just make it a nice cleaner shop, just especially if you've got very, very visual products, you might just want to hide some of this stuff. So you've just got your products showing and you've got full ability to do that. So I'll save that. The other thing that we've done is add the ability to customize individual products, how those product pages look. So again, this is the sort of standard product page. If I go to product details here, you'll see you can do certain things here. So you can do things like hide the breadcrumbs. I'll just turn those back on. But you can also choose, there's my breadcrumbs. You can always choose to decide uh, whether you show some of this information down here. So if you turn off related products and product tabs and product meta, again, if you want a very clean looking shop, You'll see I've just got my product now, so much uh, less distractions. And speaking of distractions, this is the final thing we've added to the WooCommerce section is checkout. So uh, we've we've given you the ability to enable distraction-free cart checkout. And what that does, it will hide your navigation and your footer when you're going through to your cart and your checkout pages. So can you see I'm now on the cart page? And indeed, if I go to the checkout page, can you see how the footer and the header have gone? And the idea behind that is that you'll have much higher conversion rates if you if you um, hide those elements on the page because people aren't distracted. They're in the in the process of buying and you'll get higher conversion rates. So it's just a matter of clicking. Uh, the other thing we've done with Storefront Pro is giving you lots of blog options. So um, if I go to customize here, so you'll see on the, on the left here, we've got this section called blog and we've got two sections within there, archive and single posts. So let me just revert. This is the default look and feel of the um, of storefront out of the box, but we've given you these extra layouts to play with. So this one here will align your featured images to the left and you can set how many posts across you show and how many posts down you show as well. And you can also change the heading size of these. There we go. So it fits more elegantly. Um, and we've got these other layouts as well. So this is like a full a centered layout for your um, featured image, or we've got a right featured image as well. So you've got loads of controls within there. Let's just change that back to two. Okay, let's bump up the heading size. And once you're happy with the layout, you just save and publish. And that's now working. The other thing we've done is giving you the ability to have a beautiful uh, post layout. So we've included a few options here for your single posts. Again, let's just revert to the default storefront way of doing blog posts. And here we are. This is what a single post will look like typically in storefront. But we've given you these extra two options. And let me just show you these. So this one here is a full width layout. It's very beautiful, I think. It just takes the featured image and it'll create it as a full width image across the top of the post with your title underneath it. So really clean and elegant. Let's go to this one. There we go, it looks beautiful, I think. And you can you have a few other options in, in in here as well. So let's go back to the post. If I go back to the single post options here, you can change you can change the heading sizes here. So because that's full width, I might just want to bump up the heading size. And you'll see that'll change. And you can also change the heading color here as well. We've got this other third option, which is very beautiful, which actually takes the heading and puts it within the actual post itself, like so. And as you scroll up, can you see how that heading then fades as you scroll up. Let's go and have a look at this one. You see how it just fades as I scroll up. So a really, really clean and beautiful looking blog. Um, so loads of loads of options to create a beautiful blog. Just a few more things to show you. The first is mega menus. So we've built mega menus directly into uh, Storefront Pro. So here's a mega menu that I've just created, just literally with one click. And I'm gonna show you how I built this. Uh, so you can have up to four columns in your mega menus. We've tried to make it as simple as possible to use. If I just go back to appearance and menus, and I'm going to unmega this one first. So all I've done is built a normal drop down WordPress menu with um, sub items and sub and sub sub items. So if I save that menu and go and visit the site, here we go. So that's just a normal um, WordPress menu. And to make it mega, all you have to do is on your top level menu item, you just need to tick where it says make a mega menu. 
and that takes the sub items and creates mega menus out of them. So very, very simple and very beautiful. Uh, the other thing, can you see these, these icons here? Those are using, those are Font Awesome icons. So Font Awesome is an online font library uh, of hundreds of font, um, icons that you can use. And to add those to your mega menu, all you have to do is in CSS classes, put the class of the Font Awesome icon in here and those icons will automatically appear. So those are the four icons that I'm, I've got appearing under my mega menus. So mega, mega menus are, uh, lovely. The other thing that we've built into Storefront Pro is um, inbuilt support, support for page builders. So version one, we're supporting Poodle Page Builder and the Divi Builder uh, from Elegant Themes. And to demonstrate this, let me show you what this looks like without Storefront Pro. So what I'm going to do is just go to plugins here and deactivate Storefront Pro and then go back to the site. And this is what Divi Builder looks without Storefront Pro. So this is a in Divi Builder's terms, this is a slider and it's meant to be a full width slider, which is meant to appear full width of the page and flush with the underneath of the header. But um, Storefront puts this page title in and this extra space around, but Storefront Pro will automatically make this play nicely. So if I just go back and activate Storefront Pro, you'll see what happens. So there's our full width slider. It just looks um, really beautiful. And it just works out of the box. So you don't have to worry about doing anything. It just, you just install Storefront Pro and these page builders will work beautifully. So that's Poodle Page Builder and the Divi Builder. The final thing I want to show you is the ability to customize individual pages. So th this is great if you're running individual campaigns or you might, you might want to do squeeze pages or you might want to do uh, lead pages. And this is built again into Storefront Pro. And this is the page I just built very quickly. I'm going to show you how I built this. So you'll see at the top here, I've got this option to customize page. So on every single page on your site, you, you can customize it individually. So that can look different to the rest of your pages. And all I've done is I've uploaded a background image for this page, but actually you could choose a color or actually you could choose video as well. So you could have a video background, which would be very funky. Uh, and then I've done a few other things. I've hidden the header. Um, I've hidden things like the breadcrumbs and the, and the title of the page. And I've also hidden the footer. And then finally, all I've done is add some content with the page builder, which sits over the background image. But of course, this could be a long scrolling page, but it gives you the ability to have a completely different look and feel for particular pages than the rest of your website. So there we go. That's a look at Storefront Pro. Uh, there's more detailed tutorials underneath this um, video tutorial. Um, I hope you like it. If you've got any questions, let us know.